Hey, what's going on everyone? This video, we're going to learn some extremely important concepts in programming, so you better be paying attention. You know, this isn't no college class where you go to sleep. Pay attention here. What are we going to be showing you? We're going to be showing you how to round a number, which seems pretty simple. However, there's a lot of different concepts if you're new to programming that you need to learn. So when you do some operation such as 5 divided by 2, we get some value back. And this value has a fractional part, 0.5. And sometimes you don't want to be using these fractional parts, so you want to round the number either up or down depending on that value. So that's what we're going to be showing you in this video. Do you need help advancing your coding skills? Check out my new program, Code Breakthrough. Code Breakthrough offers hands-on learning with Python and data structures, algorithms, and interview challenges. With a supportive community and regular new content, Code Breakthrough will help you get hired or advance your career. For a limited time launch special, use the link in the description to get 20% off your subscription. See you there! Alright, so I'm going to be introducing a lot of different vocabulary, and the very first vocabulary word that we're going to be showing you in this video is syntax. Syntax is basically the typing rules for the language. So when I am introducing a new concept, that concept might have a specific syntax that you need to use. So specifically, we're going to say round and then put parentheses. So that is the syntax that you need to follow. It's important to follow it up with parentheses. The next keyword that you need to know is a function. And a function is just some code out there that we can give it some input and it will return a value. So it takes an input and gives us back an output. So round takes an input inside of the parentheses as all functions are going to do and you just put the value like so hit enter and we get a return of two so that is how functions work and round is a function that already exists it's part of python and we can use it now i don't want to get too much into the concepts here however functions are very similar to operators so if you think of this division operator it takes two inputs five and two and then it gives us back a value 2.5. So you can use functions in a similar way where you pass in some data and you get a return. It's just the syntax is a bit different. Now I just want to get some other vocabulary out on the table. Whenever we put data inside of these parentheses, that is known as passing data. We are passing 2.5 to the round function. And another word for the data is an argument. So to put it all in a sentence, we are passing an argument to the round function. Make sure you understand every word in that sentence because it's not going to change. We're going to be using that for the rest of the series and the rest of our lives. When the function gives us data back, that is known as a return. So this function returns the value to. All right, so that's a lot of vocabulary. Hopefully you got all it figured out and you understand how this function works. However, there's one more thing you can do with this function that's pretty cool. So if you say round and hit the first parentheses, you can see it has number and then n digits. And this is basically describing what data it expects. So the first thing it expects is a number to round. And then we have an optional one, which is the number of digits. And it defaults to the value none. So what that means is we could say... 2.5555 comma and then the number of digits that we want to keep after the decimal we could say one like so hit enter and we get 2.6 so that's useful if we want to keep some data but you know maybe we don't want to keep a ton of numbers after the decimal maybe we just want to keep two so another example would be round and let's say we had 3.33333 and we just kept two that's how we would do that now, if you remember back to probably the, the second video, I talked about expressions such as a five divided by two and how it gives us a value back. And because it gives us a value back, you can use an expression anywhere a value is expected. So that means you can do something in here such as 10 divided by three comma two. So what is gonna happen here? Well, very first thing is that this is going to be evaluated to 3.3333 and then we're going to invoke the round function so hitting enter we still get 3.33 so now you're starting to see the different things we can do with these expressions and why they are valuable 
It allows us to be very dynamic in our code. We can put expressions wherever values are expected. So the next thing I want to show you guys, and we might not understand all the details of this until later on in the series, but I want to show you how to round up and round down. And in order to do this, you need to say import math, and that is going to import a module for us to use. And now we can take a number such as 3.3, .3, and we could say math.seal for sealing, and pass in 3.3, .3, and press enter, and we get the result 4. So that's how you round up, and if you want to round down, you can say math.floor, and pass in a value such as 3.6, and that will round down to 3. So we'll